Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Live, another Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici and I'm so glad you're here with me today. We have some awesome, awesome stuff to play with today, like the Earthen Textures. Uh, it's a bundle. We have an awesome stamp set. Hey, Teresa, thanks for joining us. So beautiful stamp set. I love like the kind of the truly like earthy nature of this whole suite of products, right? So we have these beautiful kind of clay pots, um, vases. They remind me very much of Arizona where my uh, mom and dad have spent a lot of time and I have spent sometime you know out there visiting with them as well so just love kind of the look of those pots and then beautiful sentiments right we've got a thank you love this one you are proof there is good in the world and then there's that little one that says with gratitude we've got you always know just what to say and do I wish I was that person and then let's see your thoughtfulness is much appreciated so great sentiments beautiful imagery and then an awesome kind of complimentary set of dyes that go with the stamp set. So check these all out. You can see those vases. Um, if you stamp them, you can die cut them with those little dies. This is a little top to the vase. Bunch of kind of spriggy, leafy imagery. Bonnie, hello, welcome. Um, and honestly, I didn't even play with these two. I'm gonna have to. I'm looking at them. I'm like, gosh, I kind of forgot about those guys. I focused more on this imagery up here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to play with those and I'll let you know what to do with those, but kind of just some cool um, patterns, I guess I would say. So awesome bundle that we are going to be playing with today on Facebook Live. So many good things. I'm like, oh no, where is my, my list here of what we're going to chat about? Um, something fell on the floor, so I got to grab it here too because it will really bother me. Okay, yep, we're good. <laughs> All right. Ah, yes, it's actually warmer here today than I thought it was going to be. I've been like running around. I decided this morning I had to clean my windows, so I worked out and I cleaned my windows and then I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get in the shower and get ready for Facebook Live. So I'm like, oh, trying to like cool down a little bit. Got my fan going. So life is good, right? It's beautiful. Still summertime. Although this week has been a little bit dreary, I guess I would say. Hello, Philomena. So hoping for some sun later today and this weekend. Um, so yeah, end of August, if you can believe it. My daughter Lily's birthday is next Wednesday. Um, she's actually back at school. Um, well, we took her to school. I guess it was last Sunday. Um, got her all moved in. And then um, she came home last Last night because she had um, kind of last uh, final days of work uh, last night and um, then today and then I think she's heading back to school for real tomorrow Jennifer hello welcome so yeah and Cade we moved him into his apartment a while ago and then he decided to come back and keep working here at home which I love that they wanted to be back at home too um, but he's leaving tomorrow also so all of a sudden I'm like oh truly gonna be an empty nester again um, I got used to having them home for the summer too it was funny you know how you kind of <laughs> thanks for the share too Philomena kind of got used to them being away it was very quiet and I was doing my own thing and plugging along and then they came home and you know it wasn't disruptive but just different right like okay they're here in and out and it was great got to spend good time with them never enough time right um and now they're out of here again so I'm already like plotting and planning when I can go visit them so because they're both at the same school so that's very handy that I don't have to go lots of different places to see my kiddos so yeah but let's see oh I want to say a huge thank you I was able to donate over $250 to the party cancer treatment fund uh because of all of your um orders that were sent in. So thank you so much. And then straight donations too. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your donations, for your orders um, to help me um, put that donation together in my mom's name and in her honor. 20 years, it's hard to believe, um, but that was just a really kind of awesome, meaningful thing for me to be able to do. And so I truly appreciate um, you supporting me in that. And then I wanted to show you a quick, um, so anybody that ordered online, I sent them a sample of the delightfully eclectic designer series paper. And this was a cute card that my friend Rose made to say thank you um, for something. Um, and anyway, I had to share because I forgot to show last time. So this is some of that delightfully eclectic designer series paper. And then this is so cute. It looks like typewriter letters almost, but that is designer series paper. And she just cut that out and put it on there. So how cute, quick, simple, easy thank you card there that you could make if you ordered um, supporting the fundraiser for my mom. I sent you, like I said, a sample of that delightfully eclectic designer series paper so you could make this card too so yeah so thank you thank you thank you I just 
I can't tell you how much it means to me to be able to have done that. So um, yeah, appreciate it very much. Um, okay, I have to look at my notes. I was kind of running around and I normally kind of refresh myself before I get on here and I did not do that. So I gotta just make sure I'm on track. Okay, so yes, so mini catalog, mini, mini, mini catalog. We have the holiday mini catalog. Orders can start for customers on September 6th. So we have... I don't know what like a week and a half or so maybe 10 days um, before you can order if you're a customer out of the uh, mini catalog if you're a demonstrator we've been able to order since the beginning of august um, i actually do have i'm going to show you guys some fun product from the holiday mini catalog if you don't have one of these catalogs make sure you let me know i would be happy to send one out to you there is so much good stuff in here i was um yeah, I, I think I looked online and I, you know, it's always like a little bit harder to kind of see, you know, what am I going to like? And then thumbing through the pages, I'm like, this is another one of those. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Like every page I'm like, oh, I like that. And I like that. And I like, and I think truly like I love um, like all the ribbon and all the embellishments. I want every single one of those designer series paper too. Speaking of that, I'm like all over the place, but I'm going to tell you guys actually, right now that I have I figured out because you've been asking and I finally figured it out my holiday catalog designer series paper share you are going to get I think I figured there are 15 different packs of paper um, so I'm going to run through all the names just super quick we and because I don't have them all I realized it was one of those like oh I should have had a V8 right although I do have V8 regularly so I can't even say that was it right um, but I should have, and I wasn't thinking, because um, I know I want all this designer series paper, and I was kind of trying to hold back and not order like everything all at once, but I should have. For myself, I should have ordered one of each of these packs of designer series paper so that I could show you guys. So I am going to be doing that. I'm going to put an order in later today, so I will be getting all of this designer series paper for myself. And then starting on September 6th, which is the first day we can order out of the catalog, I'll start putting designer series paper share orders in as well um so yeah will i have a sample to share with you guys i don't know you maybe have seen other people sharing online i have some that i'm going to show you in just a couple minutes because i want to share with you all of the product that i have gotten um, through my ordering right through my demonstrator ordering but we have so we have 15 different packs of paper you get a quarter of a pack of each of these packs of paper so we have a walk in the forest all about autumn berry Christmas there's a melon mambo and granny apple green foil sheet pack I'm gonna include garden walk DSP glow in the dark specialty paper that's gonna be super fun like for Halloween projects joy of Christmas designer series papers joyful specialty designer series paper Mary bold and bright DSP and then Oh Holy Night DSP. Five more to go. Oxidized Copper Designer Series Paper, Shining Brightly Designer Series Paper, Snowflake Magic, Them Bones DSP, and Winter Metals DSP. So we have 15 different packs of paper, $51 to get a quarter of a pack of each of those packs of paper. You either get six by six or six by 12 pieces, depending on kind of the configuration in the package. But like I said, you get a quarter of a pack of each of those papers. You also are gonna get a half a pack of, these are called the, adhesive backed glitter sequins and look at how fun these are these beautiful bright it's funny i think that might be what's our i'm like tempting turquoise and that's totally not the right color what what is that one i'm gonna have to like turn around and look it's um what is it what is it oh yeah tahitian tide i should know that i think i'm feeling like that's tahitian tide that's probably granny apple green and then there's some white ones in there so i'm going to split these packs in half and if you order designer series paper share you're going to get a little half a pack of these um adhesive back to glitter sequins i think that's what they're like i can't even read anymore uh but yeah so let me know if you're interested um i will be emailing about it i'll be posting on our facebook group you can comment right here if you're interested i can send you a paypal link 51 dollars for the designer series paper share if you need it shipped to you i send those priority mail it's an additional ten dollars for that shipping if you're part of in color club or if you order one of the class to go kits or something like that i love to combine things together so i don't have to charge you twice for shipping so if that's something that you're interested in let me know i'd be happy to put a couple of things together and then you only have to pay ten dollars for shipping instead of 20 if you get two different things because shipping is such a bummer i wish we didn't have to pay for it but there i don't like add to my cost at all i know i think that's what some people must do because if they say free shipping 
they're not absorbing that cost. You're paying for it somehow. So <laughs> anyway, just so you know on that. Um, okay, so let's see. I want to show you guys. Let me just make sure. Um, but yeah, I think I want to show you guys all of my new stuff. And I didn't get that much stuff either. Yes, Philomena, I know you're able to take advantage of that, like putting a couple things together um, to, to avoid the additional shipping charges, which like I said, I love to be able to do that for people. Okay, so I'm gonna like bend over here and <laughs> I got my little bag of goodies here, I think. And I'm just gonna like throw them on the ground, I think after I show you guys. So let's let's pull out, cause that'll be easiest. We're gonna pull out a couple packs of designer series paper. So this one is the oxidized copper. This is 12 by 12 specialty paper. And if you're a part of my um, Inspired Stampers team, my um, downline, you actually got to see these things on our Facebook Live a week or two ago, I think it was, but this is the oxidized copper paper. So you can see the, this one, oh, is it maybe pretty peacock and copper? I'm going to guess. It might even say on the back of the package. And then this one looks like truly copper, but isn't that cool? So you get four sheets, two of each of those. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to like, boop, that's crazy. I just threw it right on the ground. <laughs> okay, this one is the Merry Bold and Bright Designer Series paper. We're gonna just open this right up. And it is truly bold and bright. Like check out, okay, polka dots. We're gonna just like show you each of them. And then that's like string of Christmas lights, right? I love, this would be great for Valentine's Day too, right? Or holiday time, such cute paper, right? So stripey on one side. And then more, a little bit bigger print of the kind of strings of ornaments. And then we have kind of, I'm gonna say maybe crushed curry stars and then some fun stripes on that side. This is, can you read it? Fa la 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 la, so fun, huh, right? And then, ooh, look at those pretty polka dots. I love these bright, bold colors, right? Some Christmas trees, that's like a ooh, right? You can like make yourself dizzy looking at that paper. And then there's the back side. Oh, I love those polka dots too, so cute. I can see fun like birthday cards with that paper also. And then love these stripes too. You could make a cool masculine card with those um, stripes and then the back side, Christmas trees in kind of shades of green there. I would say maybe garden green, uh, parakeet party or lemon lime twist, um, and maybe granny apple green. I would say all those colors are. So super cute, fun, bold, bright pack of paper. So again, for example, if you were gonna do the designer series paper share, I would essentially take this pack, cut it in half, right? Get a bunch of six by 12 pieces, divide it up into four groups, and you would get a quarter of a pack of that paper in the designer series paper share, 15 different packs of paper, okay? Okay, so those are those two. I think I have one, I think I have one more, yeah, one more pack of paper in here too. This is the All About Autumn. This is six by six specialty designer series paper. It is gorgeous. I wanna try to read, like if I get really close to something, can I, <laughs> hold on. No, I can't, I need my glasses, okay. So let's see, we have, this is in here, Cajun Craze, Copper Clay, Crushed Curly, Curry, Early Espresso, Moody Mauve, Mossy Meadow, Pretty Peacock, Pumpkin Pie, Very Vanilla. And then I know there's also, it's funny because I don't know if it's all about autumn. I feel like maybe it's kind of, maybe a copper or gold. We're going to figure it out as we're looking um, at this paper here. But so you get four sheets of each of these. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys check this out. Uh... So Sunday, who is part of my downline, here it goes this way, doesn't it? I'm trying to see which way does it go. <laughs> Maybe that way, I don't know. She um, is uh, the head of a library here in one of our neighboring towns, so she loves books, so check that out. Isn't that, that's like um, kind of old, olden time books right there. And then there's the back side. Did I get one too many? I think I did, right? Yep, that's the next one here. There we go. Okay, so you can see it's kind of, that's the specialty part of it, because it's kind of glittery. Um, on the one side, but these are all like, just, it's almost like photographic. Which way does it go? I <laughs> have this paper like all, I'm gonna say maybe that way, right? And then there's the back side of that one, right? And then this one is almost like a, like a leather couch. And then love that pattern on the back there too, right? And then some leaves here. It's almost like they just took a picture of leaves on the ground, right? And then there's the back side. Isn't that, oh, those, both sides are so cool. It's gonna be really hard to decide here. The, these are more library books, right? 
Ah, oh, beautiful, like antique books. That's beautiful paper too. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to play with this paper. Pumpkins in different colors, so cute, right? This makes me excited for fall, right here. That one does. I'm always so sad. Sad, but exhausted. Summer is exhausting for me anyway. I try to pack so much in to not very much time. So it's kind of like the relief of like, oh, it's fall. You can just like sit back and put your feet up and watch football, right? On a Saturday instead of like running around like a crazy person, like I seem to do. But I love, I love, 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 love summer. Um, that's beautiful too, isn't it, right? But yeah, this paper is totally kind of getting me super excited for fall that almost looks like an aerial shot right and then there's the back side of that one and then this is awesome look at so many wood grain more so they're all uh kind of similar on the back side just different colors oh my gosh how about that can you imagine walking down that road or path beautiful huh all right and then almost looks like a sweater or a blanket or something doesn't it Back side of that one and then one more how about that another beautiful one right the sun kind of peeking through and the back side there so yeah again so you would get one of each of those because we get four different pieces in each of those patterns so you'd get a quarter of a pack of all of that paper in the designer series paper share again 51 dollars. you can comment right here and i'll get you that paypal link or you can send cash check credit card whatever you want to do in terms of payment i take it all right okay let's see how about some bling now we have these look so pretty too these are the blooming pearls beautiful huh right so you got some bigger pearls and then some smaller ones different kind of colors but they're a little bit iridescent too those are beautiful. Then these are called the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. I feel like I am gonna guess maybe like pool party silver and it's almost like that's a gray, maybe like a basic gray or something, right? And then, oops, that one moved, let's see. These are the Adhesive Backed Speckled Dots. And the, so these kind of go with that autumn fall suite. It's a little bit hard to see the speckledyness on them, I think, right? Um, what else? Oh, we have an embossing folder called the Distressed Tile. It's a 3D, right? Is that right? Yeah, Distressed Tile 3D embossing folder. That one is very cool too. And then, oh, I was telling you guys about these last time. These are called the Deckled Circle Dies. And look at how many, see, teeny tiny all the way out to like huge. I think we did figure out on here, it tells me. Again, I'm gonna need my glasses. So let's see, I think 14 different circle dies there with kind of that deckled, so kind of like a ripped, almost like a ripped circle edge. Awesome, right? I knew that was one of the first things I'm like, I gotta have those circles because I've been missing our circle dies. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a copper and natural ribbon combo pack. So here's our copper ribbon and here's our natural. I'm gonna say that's like mm, inch, inch and a quarter maybe, but that copper ribbon, isn't that beautiful? So combo pack, you get those together in one package again. So I think I got that whole fall suite. Well, actually, let me show you. Yeah, because there's the autumn leaves stamp set and dies. So there's our autumn leaves stamp set, beautiful, right? So we've got I'm thankful with a grateful heart. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. Um, and probably then there's these teeny tiny little ones, right? So maybe like, I'm thankful for all you do. I'm thankful today and every day. And I'm thankful to have you as a friend, right? And then some cool kind of imagery, right? The leaf imagery where you can do the veins of the leaves and the actual leaves separately, right? So those right there. And then we have this beautiful set of dyes that coordinate. So again, the autumn leaves dyes. And I love this too, right? Autumn leaves stamp set, autumn leaves um, dies autumn leaves sweet um, or bundle right you can get the stamp set and the dies 10% discount you can see the images that will be die cut and then a bunch of extra plus some labels too right always love the labels so I think I got this whole suite which would have been the stamp set the dies it was that beautiful pack of designer series paper also that copper oxidized paper um, the deckled or the speckled dots and then what was the other one? Oh, the ribbon, the copper and natural ribbon. So you can get all of that with one item code. So super easy shopping as well. Okay, just tossing those around. Oh, this is another fun one. 
so this reminds me, I lived out in Colorado for a few years um, when I was first married and I remember riding the gondola, right? So we would go skiing um, to like Aspen and Vail and all those beautiful places, Breckenridge. And so they had lots of gondolas that you could ride, which was awesome because then you were like kind of enclosed and not outside in the elements as you were heading up the mountain. And those mountains are big too. They take a while to get to the top. So that was great to be able to be inside of a gondola riding. Plus it's beautiful view. And so I just thought, oh, what fun. It kind of reminds me of many years ago. Cade was born out there, first born. So back in 2002. So it's been a couple years since I have lived there. Um, so sentiments, let's adventure together. Here's to a season full of wonder and cheer. Happy holidays and warm winter wishes. So there's our stamp set. And then here is the set of dies that coordinate with that stamp set. So that's a fun bundle, right? You'll be seeing that at some point, I'm sure. And then just a couple more little babies here. We have, these are called the iridescent adhesive back discs right there. So these go with that Mary Bold and Bright Designer Series paper, part of that suite. I have not gotten the stamp set and dies. Um, those are like kind of an ornament stamp set um, and dies. And then here's some pretty ribbon that's also part of that suite. This is an iridescent, I guess it's just called iridescent ribbon. Yeah, so you can see maybe, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, five eighths of an inch ribbon. Beautiful, right? So just a little sample there of the beautiful things that you can get out of the holiday mini catalog. If you are interested in getting those things now before you can, since you can't order until September 6th, if you would like to get the starter kit, you can pick $125 out of that holiday mini catalog and get it in your starter kit only and only pay $99 plus uh, sales tax, no shipping. That 11% shipping fee is waived too. So something to think about. If you're interested, let me know and get you more details on that. We always love to welcome new stampers, new inspired stampers into our team and into our group. Um, okay, let's see, let's see. I think we are ready. Here I am. I'm like literally going to just like be tossing stuff on the floor and then I'm going to trip on it when I have to go get some more things probably, right? We are going to do our first drawing now for, um, where did they go? These are the ombre matte decorative dots, right? So your name is in the little blue basket here if you share the Facebook Live video, the one that we did just last, was it just, no, it was two weeks ago. I'm like, oh my gosh. I think I'm actually gonna be able to do Facebook Live next Friday too. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. Like I normally, I've been going kind of like every other Friday, but I looked at September and I'm like, oh, I think I should switch it up and do um, next Friday. So that'll be like the Friday of um, Labor Day weekend and then um, probably every other Saturday, Friday, every other Saturday after that. So anyway, yeah. So if you share the Facebook Live video, your name is in here. If you shared my class to go kit post, your name is in here. And if you signed up for my email list, which the link is always above these Facebook Live videos, your name is in here also. Okay, so here we go. One lucky winner for those ombre matte decorative dots is Miss <laughs> Miss Bonnie Pasternick, who I think is watching. And it's so funny because Bonnie is a part of our Inspired Stampers team also, and she participates in the raffle that we do um, at the end of our meeting, and she's always so lucky. Um, her husband, I guess, tells her that she should like go to Vegas because she's she's always very lucky. So congratulations, Miss Bonnie. You were lucky again today. I will get those ombre matte decorative dots sent out. Talk to you. All right, on our next Facebook Live, I'm like all itchy here. Um, on our next Facebook Live, I will be giving away, these are the pastel adhesive backed sequins. One kind of last little, um, I don't know, I feel like these are like summer to me, right? So one last little um, embellishment for summer. These are maybe Tahitian Tide again. I'm gonna say um, some kind of maybe bubble bath and then a gold. I don't know for sure. I'm totally making these things up, but that's kind of what the colors look like to me. So awesome set of sequins. We'll give those away on our next Facebook Live next Friday. Woohoo! So keep that in mind. It's been every other week, but we're gonna go back to back, right? So this Friday, next Friday, hard to believe. I know, right, ladies? Um, okay, so let's see. Um, where did my notes go? Oh no. <laughs> did, ooh, I threw those on the ground too. Ooh, that's not good. Hold on, let me get these back over here. Yeah, <laughs> that would be a real problem for me. 
Um, let's see, I did do that. Oh, okay, I totally missed telling you guys this earlier, but I love, this is a quote, so I still use a Franklin planner. I know most people like, hi Mike, <laughs> this is perfect timing. I'm just talking about the Franklin planner, which I know you use also. So say hello, I hope you're having a good day with your mom, say hello to her for me too, okay? Um, so I have to share, this is the quote that I found um, in like I've got, I don't know, whatever the the, version of my Franklin planner is, you know, every day there are pages and they always have quotes in there. So I loved this quote and I thought, okay, I have to share this with you guys. It says, live as you will have wished to have lived when you are dying. I think that's like a huge, like kind of um, wake up call, right? To just live life to the fullest. So I love that sentiment. Um, the person who said that was Christian Gellert and there was like a middle name in there too and I couldn't even I didn't even know how to pronounce it so I feel like um, maybe a, some Christian European dude um, said that so I just love that so right live as you will have wished to have lived when you are dying right so take advantage of every moment and opportunity while you can right um, okay so I want to say a huge congratulations to Jen Ledley and Teresa Hinchman who I think Teresa is watching as well um, they are both new Inkspired Stampers team members just bought the starter kit back in June both of them did they have already we are like what at the end of August they have already Already become qualified team members at $900 in sales and they also reached their first quick start level which is also $900 in sales in their first full three months so for doing that for reaching qualified team member I give them a $25 shopping spree and then for um, reaching their first quick start level again $900 in sales in their first full three months um, they receive a $50 product credit to get whatever they want from Stampin' Up directly so very very cool congratulations to both Jen and Teresa for becoming qualified team members and reaching that first quick start level so something to think about if you're ever interested in getting the starter kit those benefits are available to anyone that buys the starter kit so again if you'd like more information let me know I'm happy to share that with you as well um okay let's see oh I know I want to show you guys so we had our team meeting I'm trying to think was it just I think it was well like a week and a half ago right I'm always looking at my calendar like it feels like it was a really long time ago but it wasn't really that long ago so I want to share with you guys there was one more I feel like things have gotten like I don't have a cat but I feel like a cat like walked all over my table and moved things around <laughs> so somewhere is another swap I probably like threw it on the ground okay we're gonna just i'm gonna show you we had four swaps um from our team meeting but apparently i only have three here now so they feature the bird's eye view stamp set oh my gosh this is really frustrating me <laughs> oh well hey here it is okay here's the first one i know when i when i grabbed my bag of all my that's empty now after i showed you guys all of my um holiday catalog product it got caught up in there so anyway this was one of the swaps that we made at our team meeting so super cute little birdies right with a little congratulations and then it opens up and we kind of decorated the inside as well so fun kind of a different card there right then we've got this cute little thank you um, with some of the banners right from we use the Stuttles designer series paper and then actually this one is from the delightfully eclectic designer series paper too and then here's another one you matter to so many how about that one right there right super cute little birdie guy right on the branch and then last one is a little happy birthday there and I love so still the birdie with the glasses those are my favorite the little dude you can can you see you can just see she's got like little um, lemon lolly yellow glasses <laughs> you're welcome Bonnie you're welcome you're welcome and then oh this one had some glasses on too right the birdies with the glasses so stinking cute right okay so those were our make and takes if you are a team member current team member or if you're thinking about getting the starter kit we do make and takes every single month at our meeting if you come to the live meeting you can put them together at the meeting a lot of times people just do their stamping and then they go home and assemble the cards but if you're long distance I'll ship them to you you. you obviously need your own stamp set and ink to do your stamping because we can't do your stamping for you um, but even if you're long distance you can still participate in the make and takes as well 
you can swap with us too. So how that works if you're long distance, if you put your make and takes together, mail them to me, I take them to the meeting for you, I trade them around, swap with everybody, and then I'll mail them back to you. So you can participate in swapping as well. Okay, so let me show you, we had some really beautiful swaps too. This one says, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Isn't that, and it's funny, this one um, Sunday Ostrander made, and I'm looking, I'm like, I don't even know where many of these things come from. I know that that is Lost Lagoon ribbon, but then from there, where those dyes come from, that cool little rectangle dye, the paper, I'm like, ooh, it's beautiful. I'm gonna have to do a little research on that one. This one, Miss Teresa, who is watching, also created this super cute. This She used kind of that long, like slim line. Um, happy birthday there. Again, more of that Lost Lagoon ribbon. Such a beautiful ribbon. This one was from Sharon Greening. It says, wishing you the brightest birthday. Isn't that so cute? And it looks like she even, yes, I love this idea. Um, so this is our black and white gingham ribbon. And then she used probably the Azure Afternoon um, blends or marker, I don't, probably the blends I'm thinking, to color um, that ribbon in there too. So it really kind of coordinates with that card. This is from Jen Ledley. Um, this one is also, let's see, we've got some of our boho blue, the ribbon, um, the beautiful designer series paper. Love those little dies there as well, right? And then this one is a little hello. This one's Susie Meekumber um, created, and she actually demonstrated how to do this um, at our team meeting. It was, I thought she used um, like, now I'm trying to remember. Isn't that funny? I think it's just strips, right? I think this is a full piece of um, cardstock that she embossed and then she just put the strips around. Originally, I was thinking these were little pieces that she cut, but it just looks like that because of how she laid that other piece on top of it. Pieces, I guess I should say. And then this is a swap from Beth Martin. She loves to put her uh, paper pumpkin kits together and then share them with us. So this was, um, I'm going to say it was July, probably our July paper pumpkin kit, but I love, right, kind of um, that cute little envelope there too that coordinates with, and then the little friend on there also. So those were our swaps this month. Okay, toss some more stuff on the ground, crazy, crazy. Let's see, oh, we also, I love to recognize um, my top five sellers for the month. So this was my card, again, featuring um, our products that we're gonna be sharing in just a little bit on Facebook Live, the Earth and Texture Suite. This one I, I cased right off of, I can't remember who, but I found it on Pinterest, but I love, so here's stamping, die cutting, and then there's um, the top of the little base too with those little spree things. You are proof that there is good in the world right love that sentiment for sure and then oh also $600 club prize if anyone in my team sells more than $600 in the month they receive a prize this month was a full not a partial but a full pack of the tinsel gems three pack coming in misty moonlight fresh freesia and lost lagoon are the colors on there so this is all I had left of mine um, but yeah so if you earn more than or sell more than $600, I give a little prize for that every single month because I like to make sure that you know if you reach $600 in sales in a month, Stampin' Up, Stampin Up also rewards you with additional commission on your sales. They pop that right into your bank account at the beginning of the following month. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, one more, one more, one more. We do a mystery project as well at our team meetings. And this was the mystery project for this month. Basically, I will give all of the dimensions and everything that you need to know to create a card, but I don't tell you what I'm using or what it, I don't give you a picture of it. So you kind of take all of that information and kind of brainstorm and what would I, what am I, what do I think she's going to do? And then bring those pieces together at, at the meeting or on the Facebook Live if you're watching long distance and you put your card together. So this was the little card that we made and I'm going to open this up because this ribbon kind of holds the whole card together and then it opens up right like that right and again you are proof there is good in the world I use that stamp a lot lately haven't I <laughs> okay um let's see what are those doing there hmm, I think that was for something else right let's just scoot those off of the table all right all right all right I think let's see we already talked about paper share 
we are oh quick just a couple of quick reminders okay you only have a few days left we are what august 25th so through next thursday if you have any bonus day coupons make sure you use those coupons before they expire because they, they they expire um august 31st you got to make sure to use them by next thursday august 31st because then on friday september 1st can't use your bonus day coupons any longer so if you haven't done that yet make sure you put your online order in and use those bonus codes they were emailed to you whatever email you add email address you have on file under kind of your customer profile um, always check your spam folder if um, you can't find it and you can always stamp find those codes sorry that was like connecting reconnecting for a sec there but i think we're good um also super summer giveaway just a couple days left and that also ends august 31st i've been seeing lots of fun posting make sure you use that hashtag super summer giveaway when you post a picture of a project that you've made right here to our facebook group your name will go in the drawing right you also get drawings for every event you attend um two uh, two entries for every 50 dollars you spend that's at class online through class to go kits um again two entries if you post a picture of a project right here to our Facebook group using that hashtag super summer giveaway. Um, two entries if you bring a guest to class, three entries if you join a club, simple beautiful card club, scrapbook club, paper pumpkin, and in color club. Also five entries if you buy the starter kit, you still have a couple days left if you're interested in that. Um, and probably this won't happen at this point, but you, you would have gotten five entries um, for hosting a private party or class if you've already done that, then your name is in there also. And I've been busily like keeping track and putting names in the drawing. I've got lots of names in there, working on getting some awesome products to give away. We will do that. I won't have them for next Friday's Facebook Live. I'm absolutely positive of that, but I'm, well, I think we should have them by the next Facebook Live, which would be on the 15th of September. So hopefully we can do that drawing then, okay? Um, but yeah, so you got a few days left to um, get your entries in that super summer giveaway drawing. All right, um, one day retreat. Also, today is the last day to get that extra free gift in your goodie bag. So if you are interested in attending the one day retreat, that is on Saturday, October 7, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church. It is $64 for the entire day. You get a goodie bag valued at over $30. We do, um, well, I, let's see, you get a six foot table space. Um, you get lunch and dinner. We have make and takes. I make cute treats for you. We have snacks all day long. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I buy one, get one free. I pull out all my retired product. You can shop from that. It's an awesome, awesome day. Basically, you just come, bring whatever you wanna work on, hang out with the ladies, chat with the ladies, not chat with the ladies, whatever you wanna do. It's your day to do whatever you want, however you want all day long and we just take care of you so all you have to worry about is whatever you're working on all those fun projects you're working on okay so again october 7th final rsvps are due by monday september 18 and that's with payment also so again today is the last day if you pay by the end of the day today you can paypal me um, you can send credit card um, cash check whatever um, but if you pay by the end of the day today you get an extra free gift in your goodie bag okay hi monica hello welcome thanks for joining joining us um okay let's see doo, 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 doo. I think we've talked about pretty much everything we're gonna do our next drawing Woo. okay and everything pretty well cleared off my table here next drawing is for the horse and sleigh stamp set and you know what I realized I did not put ladies names on so I'm gonna do that I know because I only had a couple orders so ooh, boy I can't believe this is like craziness here for me, but one moment, I need to grab a pen and I'm gonna jot the names down on these. Actually, I'm gonna grab two. Okay, okay, yep, let me just do a quick, okay. Yep, so I only had two online orders, so that's all I have to worry about is putting those two names. So you guys know, right, I don't, um, get that many online orders so your chances are really good each time I do this drawing your chances are really good of winning the drawing right you got a 50% chance right here two names in here is it this week um, so yeah who is going to win did I show this already the horse and sleigh stamp set this is what we're giving away if you put an online order through me using the host code 
Okay, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Let's see the suspense, right? We have one name, Miss Bonnie Simon. All right, congratulations, Bonnie. You are the winner of this beautiful horse and sleigh stamp set. So I will, she's local, so I'm gonna put that right out on the porch for her, Miss Bonnie. Okay, lots of Bonnie. So Bonnie won the other drawing, Bonnie pa Pasternick won a drawing, and Bonnie Sim Simon drew. <laughs> want a drawing. Oh my goodness. Congratulations, Bonnies, right? <laughs> yes, you're very sweet, Philomena. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, next Friday, super duper cute. This is the a new, you can't even order this yet. I got this for you guys already out of the new holiday mini catalog, the pick of the patch stamp set. So super fun little pumpkin builder set, right? With some little leaves and springy things in there too. We have a harvest of blessings is one of the sentiments. How about cutie pie? That's kind of fun, right? Um, you're the pick of the patch. Happy Halloween and thanks so much. So awesome stamp set right there that we will be giving away next Friday on next Friday's Facebook Live. So put your online order in through me and you could um, get your name in the drawing um, for that stamp set. As well, too, I forgot to mention. So last week's people that ordered through me both get these two cards that I demonstrated on last Facebook Live. They also, and this week too, right, you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. This one featuring that really super fun and cute, that bird's eye view card that I made. Or you can pick the August Free Embellishment, which are, these are called the Adhesive Back Sparkle Gems. So um, anytime you order through me, right, you get your name in the drawing, you get the Facebook Live cards that I'm going to demonstrate in just a couple minutes, and you get to pick from either a free embellishment or the 16 Project PDF tutorial. So lots and lots of good stuff. As always, love to say thank you. Truly appreciate your online orders. Um, so yeah, okay. All right, I think, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's do this, ladies, huh? Okay, yeah, all right. I'm going to flip the camera down now, all right? So we're gonna turn your heads away for a sec. I'm gonna show you that host code. I wanna show you just a quick reminder. Okay, hold on one sec. Flipping the camera down. Oops, almost got caught on there, right? Okay, so yes, got the fan going. In the wintertime, that probably won't be happening, right? Okay, stop flipping, there we go. And aren't you, I'm so thrilled too. I meant to mention that earlier. Um, right after, so Facebook Live, you know how it was sideways last time we did Facebook Live? It was some glitchy thing with Facebook. It was not my phone. I di did figure that out because the next day I think I tried it and it worked totally fine. Today, tried it, worked totally fine. So I don't know what the problem was last Friday, but I apologize or the last time we did Facebook Live, right? Um, but I'm glad to know it's not happening this week too. So host code, use this please if you're going to order through me, the UUXQTP2Y. That's what'll get you all the um, freebies too with your order, okay? All right, oops. Let's see. So I want to show you guys Sorry, I'm like getting organized over there again. The Darling Details class to go. We won't go through all the details, right? But you guys know the idea. We've got these four cards. You can make two of each of them. We've got this cute little hello there card. We have just a note. We have thank you. Oh my gosh, I love all of these cards. And a little happy birthday, right? So fun, bright, bold, beautiful cards. You make two of each of these. Um, well, I guess we will, right? We're going to just talk about this. Option number one includes the bundle, which is the stamp set and the dies. You get a full package or full bolt of the herringbone ribbon and a full package of the in color pearls. Option number one is $85 and you actually get the pearls for free. So you don't even have to pay for those, right? You also get the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put the cards together. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and the dies, you're going to get all the parts and pieces, the ribbon, the pearls, just $30 for option number two. If you need them shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. Um, option number three is free for my downline and $15 for anyone else that's not a part of my Inspired Stampers group to get the PDF tutorial. And then option number four is also for my downline. They can get the make and takes for just $15. Um, all the parts and pieces, I send them the ribbon and the pearls. They need their own stamps and dies to do their stamping and die cutting. Um, and that one is also $15. So RSVPs are due today, right? So if you are interested in these super cute um, little darling details cards, let me know. Today's the last day to get in on that class to go. 
um, the link. I will, it's included above this Facebook Live video and then I've been posting about it here on our Facebook group too. But if you need me to send that to you, I'm happy to do that as well. Okay. All right, let's see, I'm gonna skip that back. All right, are you guys ready? Ready to do our stamping. I am gonna get my grid paper. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna scoot that up. I will bring that back into view. I always have to do this to make sure that we can see what we're doing here. Okay, so we we made some fun folds too. Oh, one moment, I need some water. Okay, so here we have this little thank you card. So it kind of, it will lay flat like that, right? And then it opens up and it says, you always know just what to say and do. Right, so isn't that cute? Also featuring the Earthen Elegance or Earthen Textures, I'm not sure what it's called, the Designer Series paper, right? That's part of this suite too. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these things out and whoa, that just fell right off the table. And everything kind of went everywhere <laughs> onto my pile. <laughs> oh shoot, <laughs> okay, hold on, I think I've got it here. That's probably why I shouldn't make a pile though, right? Because <laughs> I'm like, what do I need for this card? Plus, oh my gosh, my legs are really sore. I worked out this morning and it's really hard to get up and down off the floor like quickly and easily. Boy, okay, well, let's see, that one's gonna go there. I think we're all right, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, everything dumped out. Okay, I got this though, ladies, I got it. Okay, so we're gonna start, we're gonna just go right piece by piece. So. Um, all of these measurements, colors, uh, products, co product codes, everything that you need to order these products and recreate these projects will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay. Okay. So this is copper clay, five and a half by four and a quarter. That's the back piece right there. Okay. Then we have another piece of copper clay cardstock that measures four by 11. You score it at two, three and three quarters seven and one quarter and nine inches. And again, that'll be on my blog too, if you missed that. Okay, so this folds like this. Actually, it's almost easier for me to do this one like that. So that's gonna go then right on there like that, okay? Then let's see, since everything went everywhere, <laughs> I'm gonna try to find my two little pieces of designer series paper. These measure one by four, and those are gonna go right there, okay? Then I have a piece of, this is gray granite cardstock that measures three and three quarter by three and three quarter. That's that one. It's actually gonna go right there like that, just on that one side. So it'll open like that, okay. Um, then we have another piece of designer series paper. This one measures three and a half by three and a half. That is gonna go right on there. And then I have some scrap pieces of, let's see, what do I have? This is, Pebbled Path, Gray Granite, and Pecan Pie to do our stamping and die cutting. I guess I need another one there too, right? <laughs> I always put kind of extra pieces in my little tub here for additional cards that I might need to make. So that's what I'm, I'm like trying to make sure that <laughs> I have what I need. And there are a few extras maybe, but that's for another day and time. Okay, here, we're going to scoot this over here so it doesn't fall. Okay. All right, let's see, we are gonna do, let's do our stamping. There's just a little bit of stamping to do, right? Oh, and then this piece on the inside too, I was thinking. Okay, so there's one more, one more gray granite that goes right inside there. This one measures three and one quarter by three and three quarters, okay? So yeah, let's do that. You always know what to do and say. We're gonna stamp that in uh, copper clay ink, okay? So that one, so nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Put that kind of up toward the top. I'm gonna grab my little bit of grid paper because I want to stamp this little baby just kind of down in the corner there like that. Okay, and then I also need, I'm gonna do this thank you in copper clay. Stamp that one there. So I've got those three are good. And then we also need this piece of gray granite. We're gonna actually use this other one here just to be safe, right? With these little, I don't know. I call them spriggy things. What are they, guys? 
You tell me, okay? <laughs> I'm glad you like that fold. Yeah, and the colors are beautiful, aren't they, Philomena? Perfect, like, fall kind of, yes, very fall-inspired colors here. Okay, so we're going to die cut this one and this one and this one and this one, and then these are all extra pieces we're going to use to put our project together. Okay, so let me grab my die cutting machine. Okay. And we need, okay, so this, thank you, we are using, do I have, we're going to use, these are the deckled rectangle dies, not to be confused with our new deckled um, circle dies, right, but these are rectangles, so same kind of idea with just that little, um, it's almost like a ripped edge on them, right, so we're going to use, I wonder if we're going to be able to put all of these on here, right, so we got that one right there. We're gonna do that one. <laughs> Let's see. If I pull that one out, that one can go there, and I think we might be able to get them all in here, right? Okay, so then, let's see. We have this guy that's gonna go on there. And what else do I need? Mm, this one is gonna go on our pecan pie, and then this one is going to fit, and I'm going to put my glasses on so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, there, I think we're good. That one looks good. All right, I think everything looks good. So hopefully as long as everything stays, we can get all of our die cutting done right now. Okay. Let's go back through. I'm thinking, do I have any detailed ones? I do have that one. The little pecan pie one is fairly detailed, so that one, it's always better to have another run through. But isn't that, it's like a little palm. Oopsie. <laughs> there it is. Nope, that's the wrong side there. Now you can see all the detail. Isn't that cool? Love that one, right? And then we've got our thank you with the little kind of ripped edges there, right? Okay, then this is the detailed one. Let's see if this one, will it come? Yep, it's still stuck in there. We'll get that one figured out there, right? And then this one, oopsie. Man, I'm like fumble fingers today. That one with a little stamping on it there too. Okay, so we're gonna scoot this out of the way. Okay, and just kind of flick that on. Okay, well... <laughs> Usually that's all I need to do, but today, of course, because you guys are all watching, it's being butsy, right? Okay, so here we go. We're going to just use our little paper piercing tool and poke that little baby. Oops, I thought I had it. There. That's cool too, huh? Right? Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm realizing I need my scissors and my adhesive. Okay. All right, let's put our project together here, ladies. So I think we're gonna start with these two pieces of designer series paper, okay? So we're gonna add our adhesive, we're gonna run it and tip it back. And here we go, we're gonna add on each side, right? Okay, so we're gonna put one right there. And I want to make sure they're going the same way to kind of that little V. Make sure they're both pointing down down or up, either way you want to do it, right? Okay, so now this piece is going to go on there. So we're going to put a bunch of adhesive because this is kind of a major part of our card right here. And it's hard because <laughs> it's like sticking to my fingers trying to think what was my um was there a trick here I guess not it's mainly just um well don't push too hard <laughs> that'd be my first comment right so then you can push this together and make sure if it seems even I think that looks pretty good right and then we're going to press firmly okay we're going to add this one on the inside right here okay our little sentiment right inside here. Okay, again, we're trying to kind of just make sure it's even from side to side there. Boy, 
I feel like I need like a magnifying glass or something, right? Oh <laughs> my goodness. All right, then we're gonna add our designer series paper to our piece of gray granite cardstock. Got some adhesive on my finger there. So if we do that, that's gonna go there. So now I want to, I'm gonna just add adhesive on this piece. I wanna try to get not too close to the top or the bottom or the side because I don't want adhesive where I don't need it, right around those edges there. Okay, so that's gonna go there. So you guys are getting the idea, right? That's coming together nicely. Okay, next I am going to grab, I want my little silicone mat here. I love using this when I am putting adhesive on these things. And I need my dimensionals too, right? We got those handy, we do. Okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of our thank you. That's there and there, okay. We are gonna add a good amount of adhesive here. This one especially, because it's got all those little holes, right? Okay, so, scoot this over here. So we've got that one is gonna go, and then I did, kind of like to kind of curl these up a little bit just to give them a little bit of dimension, right? And we can kind of curl this one a little bit here too, right? So we're gonna put this one maybe right there. And then this one I think already flipped over, didn't it? But that's okay, right? I'm gonna put that one like right about there. Okay, then we are going to peel off our dimensionals. We're gonna put that right about there. I'm gonna just trim that thing off a little bit there and then where did it go we want oh yeah you know my finishing touches i'm gonna use um a few of these these are called what the neutrals adhesive back sequence these are beautiful and are going to be a huge uh hit right for um fall right all our fall autumnal projects right and then more of the jute trim the in color jute trim i am loving this it kind of got like it was just in an area where I don't really like look very often for embellishments. So I moved it and now it's like popping out at me all the time. And I'm like, I want to use it all the time on my projects. So I have been, but it's also perfect. These are great, like kind of fall colors as well. So we're going to add a little glue dot there. We're going to put that little thank you right there, right? And that are on our little thank you, right? Put our We'll jute trim on our thank you. And then we are going to add a couple of these neutral sequins. I wanted to use these copper guys here. So I'm gonna put, love just sprinkling these on our project, right? They just kind of add just a little bit of sparkle to our project here, right? And then we've got that one right there. So there we go. There is our first thank you card. You always know just what to say and do. Awesome, right? I love, I love these colors. I love this whole suite of projects. I think it is, or um, products, I guess I should say, not projects, products. <laughs> I think they are just beautiful. Okay, so here we're gonna put those back in there. I'm going to clean these guys real quick. Love my chamois, if you don't have the chamois. Ah, oh, okay, um, Bonnie is asking. So yes, she's saying she loves the sweet and you're excited to be using it. These embellishments, Bonnie, if this is what you're asking about, these are called the Neutrals Adhesive Backed Sequins and they are item code 161627. Yep, these are awesome, right? Those, um, again, the Neutrals Adhesive Backed Sequins. The other thing, if you're thinking about the twine or the trim, the jute trim, these are all of our in colors, right? So this is called the 2023-2025 in colors jute trim, and it is item code 161637. And again, all of this will be listed on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay, so if you missed any of that, you can always rewind and watch this again. Um, or like I said, it'll be, oops, sorry, I just bumped that, didn't I? It'll be on my blog this afternoon. Okay. So in the meantime, I'm just doing a little cleaning right here. Okay, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful suite of products for all of our fall projects. I am thinking, ladies. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna scoot this one out of the way. I'm gonna grab the other. Okay, so this one I was super excited about because I love these shades of blue, right? So this features more of, and I gotta pull that out. What is the name of this? I only have, well, it's kind of a mess. Like this is what I have left. This is the Earth and Elegance Designer Series paper is what I used. And it's item code 161503. So this is the Earth and Elegance Designer Series paper. And just so you know, guys, this is how I store all my Designer Series paper. I keep it right in the package so I know the name of it. I know all of the colors that coordinate. Um, that's how I come up with my projects too, right? Um, is in terms of, like this one's maybe a better example because I used vanilla card base here. But this card or this Designer Series paper basically told me to use copper clay and gray granite cardstock because those are colors that are included in here. So that's what I did right here on that on that card. So it makes it so easy to kind of make beautiful coordinating projects because the colors are all listed right on there too. And then this is how, like I said, how I store my designer series paper. So I have little like parts and pieces on the front and then I have my full 12 by 12 sheets in the back there too. So it all stays together so I'm never confused. I used to just dump all my extra pieces into one tub got so confusing because I didn't know what went with what or what was a part of what. So I like to keep it all together in here now too, but that kind of gives you a little sampling of um, all of the different patterns in that designer series paper. All right, just tossing that on the floor too. Okay, so here we go. This card though, so fun. Um, this one actually I designed based off of this was our uh, mystery project. So this one was this orientation, right, that did this, right, but same idea. So you untie this right here, and then this folds down, and that folds up. Isn't that cool, right? So you just kind of tie a little bow at the top or on the side, whichever way the orientation is of your card, right? Okay, so let me show you what we've got going for this project here. Okay, so I'm not gonna dump this all on the floor because I definitely have extra parts and pieces in there too that was very confusing for me. <laughs> okay, so thick, very vanilla cardstock that measures four and a quarter by eight and one quarter, scored at two and three quarters, okay? That's gonna go just like that, right? Then we have a piece of designer series paper Earth and Elegance, four by five and a quarter. And that's gonna go right inside there. We have another piece of Very Vanilla that measures three by eight and a half, scored at four and one quarter. So that's gonna go there like that. Um, what else? Then we have another piece of the Earth and Elegance Designer Series paper. This one measures two and three quarters by four. That's gonna go right there. And do I have, oh, and then one more. Actually, this one that measures four by two and a half. And that one's gonna go right on there. So that goes there, that goes there. And then I've got some other, um, what is that? Oh, no, let's see. I'm like, where's that from? I don't know why I have that. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put that back in the tub. And if I figure out why I need it, I'll like, oh, I know why. Yeah. Yeah, I know why now. We need it just for that little sprig right there. Okay, so pecan pie, very vanilla, and then a couple pieces of the Earth and Elegance Designer Series paper for our pots right there too, okay? Um, so the only stamping we're gonna do is on the inside of this piece, so we'll do that right now with Misty Moonlight ink, okay? So we're gonna do tap, tap, tap. You are proof there is good in the world. Ooh. <laughs> How about that? Okay, so here we go, ladies. This is the fix for that. Flip it over, turn that, do a double check to make sure that it is right side up. <laughs> okay, see, and then you're never gonna know. Our cardstock is thick enough, especially when you put it down on the paper that you won't even know that I stamped that upside down on the back of it. <laughs> Had to happen, didn't it? Just once, it had to happen. Okay, so we've got all of those pieces. That's gonna go there. We're gonna do this die cutting. Let's do that, okay? Got all of those. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine. 
Here we go. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like this one too. I love fun folds also. Just love them. Okay, so we're gonna just do, we gotta run something through twice here because I only have one of those guys. Let's see, we got this and this and this. So this little spriggy thing, I've seen this used a million times, but we only have one of them. That would have been my one comment. If we could have had more than one of those, that would be very helpful, right? Okay, so we're gonna do that vase right there. And let's see, we're gonna do this one. It was kind of, I think the drips should go down, not up on your vase, right? So there we go. Okay, we're gonna die cut these, and then we're gonna have to do one more of that little guy in our pecan pie cardstock. So we'll come back and do that, right? Okay, so let's say we're gonna crank that back through one more time. All right, so this one, and it's stuck in there. Let's see. Yes, see, that's how you fling it. Okay, we're going to do one more of these because we need it in our pecan pie cardstock as well. So there, we're going to lay that right on there. Oops. Crank that through and go back. I always love get that run twice. Just kind of helps release it out of the die. Yes, love it, thank you. That's how it's supposed to work, ladies. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah, maybe I needed to throw it on this, huh? Instead of on my, on my um, desk, right? Table, whatever this is called. Okay, so check, I love this. Like, doesn't that look like a pot that you would, it looks like a pot that you'd find out in Arizona, I think, and so does that one too. These clay pots, right? Okay, just get those all out of the way. All right, so here's our card. Let's get, let's figure out how what we're doing now, right? We're gonna scoot those over here for a sec. We are going to, let's see, we're gonna just start from the beginning, okay? So, ooh, this is beautiful too, right? Check out that designer series paper. But I loved the blues. I was really excited to uh, be able to come up with something because I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do it because I'd done a lot with, um, you know, the kind of browns in this sweet, but I loved the blues too. And so I was happy to be able to figure something out. Okay, so this is going there. So we need adhesive on the back of this piece right here. So there and there, and you wanna get a good amount because this one is kind of holding, you know, the whole inside of your card here, right? So again, you're gonna wanna kinda line it up side to side, top to bottom. Okay, we'll go there and there, right? And, yep, I think we're good. Okay, so let's just put some adhesive. These are, that's a beautiful pattern too, isn't it? I love that pattern as well. Okay, so let's see. This one is gonna go, nope, it's gonna go right here. I wasn't sure. They look about the same size, right? But you'll figure it out because you want to get that little border around there. And then this one is going to go on here. We're doing okay. You guys can see everything, right? Oh, oh, and I did this before too. Let's see if I can get this back off. Um, because you really want to feed your jute trim through here. So we're going to keep that up like that. Oh yeah, a couple things. Oh my gosh. Okay, well here, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna just take that off entirely. That was good, I didn't press too hard there. Um, my silicone mat. We're gonna put this down here because one of the things we want to do, and where is that? Right here we go. This is called the wavy trim, right? It's so pretty, isn't it? Um, we just wanna run a couple strips right across here. What I decided was easiest was to just kind of Put a little bit of adhesive along here and you want to get it on the edges so that it stays in place right so kind of about wherever you get your adhesive is where this wavy trim is going to go so it doesn't have to be like exact and what i also found was it was easiest to just kind of oops lay it on here and then trim off a little bit so here that one right there and then we'll put 
this one right there. Okay, so there we're gonna just trim those right on the edges. And I feel like maybe, is that one good? Yeah, that one's good, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna get those little babies out of the way. I'm gonna just leave that right on there. This is another great use for your little silicone mat is when you have adhesive. This is not sticking to anything because I forgot I did this when I made the project too. I wanted to run this jute trim around here first, tie it in a bow, and then put that piece on top. So we're gonna do that now. Okay. All right, so we're gonna tie our bow and then we will add that blue, our Misty Moonlight Designer Series paper afterwards, kind of over top of this piece, because that'll help hold it. So you don't even have to adhere it at all. Um, it'll just hold it right in place. Okay. There. And if you, so just carefully, I've already kind of, I was yanking too much and I've kind of made a little ridge there. Almost if you curl it a little bit, if you want to scoot that up just a tiny bit. There we go. Okay. Now we are going to lay this down right on top of there. Okay. And then we are going to put these little babies back on here. And I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive to these things. And then I'm going to put them in my pot, right? So we're going to put like that one there and that one there. And then I'm going to put some uh, dimensionals, which are right here. I'm going to put some dimensionals. That'll help hold those things right in place. And then that one and that one. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to add our one little clay pot right about there we'll say and then the other little clay pot next to it oh what a beautiful it's kind of as to say a beautiful day it's like clearing up a little bit around here i think finally i think we're ready for some sun it's been a few days so it's time for the sun to peek back out i think maybe later today so and then as always, I have to just add a few little doodads, little embellishments. What are these? These are the called the Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. So these are another great kind of fall um, themed embellishment, I would say. Okay. All right. So let's get this stuff out of the way. I think we have project number two. So that one, if it were tied, right? We'll just tie that real quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed these project with projects with this earthen textures stamp and die set. Beautiful um, earthen elegance designer series paper too. Huh, yeah, I am loving this, right? Okay, so there we go. We have those, and then we have this little guy right here. So don't forget, ladies, if you put an online order in through me using this host code, the UUXQTP2Y, right? You get both of these projects that I demonstrated today. Your name is entered into the drawing to win this so super cute pick of the patch stamp set. And then you get to pick from the free embellishment or the demo design dream team pdf tutorial either one of these as a thank you for your order so thank you guys so very much for watching today i hope you enjoyed these cards i am totally loving them like i said it's getting me in the mood for fall which is kind of a nice uh, yeah i'm ready for it too all right thanks guys have a good weekend we'll see you back here right one week from today next friday all right have a good weekend Bye bye